Hi friends, it's Jeanette here today. Welcome to another video. Today I wanted to show you my skincare routine as requested and I wanted to bring up a little bit of my history because ever since I've had my baby my skin has definitely gone through a whole lot of changes and it was about the three week postpartum mark when I had a huge like cystic acne flare up along my jaw, my jawline and my chin and it was so painful. I hadn't dealt with a breakout like this in about three years. And so it was really hard to stay optimistic, but I somehow got through it. And I'm going to be showing you a super embarrassing photo right now that I never thought I would be sharing, but I thought it would be important to show you, like, this is what, you know, this is what it was. And so here I am in this photo, cheesing, trying to trick my brain into thinking everything's going to be okay. Thankfully, within the next two weeks after this photo, it did clear up. I was just left with a little bit of, like, dark acne scarring so if you want to find out what I use for that then keep watching because this has been a really really great product and so with that being said if you like this type of content please give this video a thumbs up and let's go ahead and get started okay so let's start off with cleansers I always remove my makeup with my cleanser and lately I've been using the Acure resurfacing glycolic and unicorn root cleanser. So I use this one every day and this one does a really good job at taking off my makeup. And then whenever I want to double cleanse, I've been using the Biore Yuzu Lemon and Ginseng Brightening Jelly Cleanser. So this one is really fun. I got it just because whenever you smell it, I mean, it smells like a bright, cheery day. I don't know, like a good start to your day. But I typically use this one at night and then this one just a few times whenever I want to double cleanse. That's not something I do every day. I'm going to start out with the Unicorn Root Cleanser first. So I'm just going to get my face a little wet. And this is the part that gets really ugly. Okay, so this pretty much got rid of like, I don't know, all of my makeup, but just for the sake of this video, I am going to be using this Biore cleanser and it has the tiniest, tiniest exfoliating beads. It's really not harsh at all. I mean, you barely feel it. The texture of this is really gently light though, so that's sort of what makes it really fun. And it does have a really good lather. Okay, so I'm just patting my face dry. Okay, so the things I'm going to show you today, this is the order that I would use them in, but I don't use them every day. Typically what I would do if I had time is I would do a nose strip and these are really cool. I found these at Target. They're called Lift Off Pore Strips. And if you open it up, it's got the cutest little yellow. I should just go ahead and do it, right? I mean, my son can wait. He doesn't need to bathe every day anyways. Okay, so you just wet your nose. I got a giant nose, I need a bigger strip, but this is as good as it gets. Okay, so I'm just gonna let this one get hard and then I'll come back once it's ready. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes and I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. Like I said, I don't get to do this every day, but I bet you my nose really, really needed it. I probably did this like three weeks ago. Ooh. Oh, it did leave a little bit of residue. Okay. You ever just stare at your nose strip? Okay, so normally the next step I would do after using, um, after cleanser is the, is using a uh, Garnier Missler water. So I really like that this takes off that last bit of last bit of makeup and 
These wipes also have like a really light exfoliating pad, so I really like these pads. Okay. And I think that one of the most important things when it comes to when whenever you have acne is that uh, I know it's really tempting to just go out and buy like products with salicylic acid, benzoyl peroxide, but unless you really, really need it, like if you've been going through this for a while, then I guess I can understand, but I like to think, um, okay, that last bit of makeup off, ugh. So I, I, I like to think of working with my skin versus fighting my acne and working against my skin. Like, if you have acne, it's something internal is happening, you know, it's not your skin's fault. You don't have to get angry and be like, oh, we're going to fight this, we're going to attack this. Like, work with your skin, be gentle. I actually have had the best results since um, switching to just gentle cleanser. So if that's, if you can take anything away from this video, it's just using a gentle cleanser, simple ingredients in your moisturizers. Uh, you don't have to use uh, oil-free cleansers and oils are actually good. And like toners with alcohol in it because you think that's going to dry out your pimples, but you actually want to give your skin more moisture. So that's, that's all I had to say on that. Um, after using the cleansing water, then I like to, um, I like to use this serum. It's also by Acure. I actually happened to find this one on sale at Target. And it's called Radically Rejuvenating Dual Face Baku Choil Serum. I'm probably butchering that. Um, it says it's Bacutrol Eggplant and Turmeric Age Performance, so I don't know. I just really like having a little serum. Okay, and then I'll... Okay, and this is a little extra, but I do this just for a few minutes because I love the cooling effect. I have a Jade Stone here from Eco Tools, and oh my god, it feels so good. I don't know if you could tell in the last video where I posted my scar update, but my skin there was really, really red all around here, and um, it's definitely gone down. I'm not saying it's all because of the Jade Stone, but I, I have started using this, and it really, really, it just feels really good. I honestly don't know if it has any like real benefits, but it feels really cooling and really nice. So I usually move this up. And then I like to use this one here for the eyes. And I just roll this up here. I don't know if you're supposed to go this way or this way, but I definitely don't want to pull out. That's not good for your eyes. Skin, it's really sensitive in this area. Isn't it crazy how I really look forward to going to bed now? <laughs> like Now that I have a kiddo, I'm just so tired by the end of the day that I can't wait to get to my next routine and just brush my teeth and go to bed. We already ate dinner, so we're probably just gonna give them a quick little bath here behind me, get in our jammies and go to bed. Okay, so you wanted to know what I use to fade the acne scars. This is something I use only one or two times a week. It's a gentle retinol serum. It's called Press Restart by Burst. I found this at Target and I'm so glad I started using this. It says it's made for aging skin, oh, dullness and problem skin. So this has really helped me out. So you just do two small pumps and then you work this in. It says to do it between serums and moisturizers. So that's why I'm using it in this order. I already did my serum. Now I'm gonna do this. You let it sit in your skin for just a minute Okay, so last step, I'm actually gonna be using the CeraVe PM Facial Moisturizing Lotion. I use the same one during the day, but the AM version, because this one has sunscreen and this one has been my go-to for like a year and a half already. So the reason I really like this one, it does have hyaluronic acid, and I know whenever I use products that have that, it just really helps to brighten up my skin. Just so different whenever you like stop and take the time. I usually 
usually do all of this in such a rush. Okay, so like I said, I don't use all of these products every day. If I were to shorten this list down to the bare necessities, like I would say I use this to wash off my makeup, this to make sure I get all of it off, and then the moisturizer. I say that these three are like my essentials for every day, and then the rest are just good to mix in every other day, every two, three days. Okay, so all of these items I found either at Target or at HEB, which is my grocery store. I'll try to link all of them in the description box if I can find them, but just let me know if you have any questions. Hey again, so I hope that you enjoyed watching my routine. I just wanted to quickly share some closing thoughts that, you know, you don't have to go all drugstore or all luxury. You can definitely do a combination of products. I've just been very frugal in this last year because I've been so excited about getting out of debt and so I'm enjoying seeing my savings stack up. So I've just been keeping it, you know, pretty frugal with my spending. I haven't been buying too many luxury makeup and skincare items like I would like to, but that's okay. So if you ever want to talk about that, definitely let me know in the comments below as well. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.